This is our next case with a 66-year-old gentleman who has duodenal desmoid fibromatosis. He had his first operation in private in November 2017 with duodenal resection, duodenal jejunostomy and cholecystectomy done. However, it was complicated with pancreatic fistula with collection and even limb kinking. Second operation with laparotomy and gastrojejunostomy was done in December 2017. However, the patient subsequently developed deranged liver function, with CT showing inflammatory changes around the pancreatic head, causing biliary obstruction. However, there was no definite mass. ERCP was failed because it failed to identify papilla due to anatomical distortion. PDBD with internal external biliary drainage was inserted. US plus FNAC of the unsinate lesion was negative for malignancy. The patient wishes to win off PDBD. And this is the CT image of the patient. So today we're going to do US guide biliary drainage. Hello. Hello. Can you hear us? Yeah, yep. This is very complicated cases. Uh, actually, I. So I've actually drawn the anatomy for you. <laughs> I would hope that you would, because... Can we zoom in? Can you see it? Can zoom in on that picture. It's very helpful. So okay. this patient had a duodenal resection here. So he had an anastomosis, DJ, but this didn't work, so we had to do a GJ. GJ here, so all the foot is going this way. But now he's a recurrent bleeding obstruction here. So we're going to try to drain either through the duodenum or through the HGS. What's the underlying is that clear? Theology? This is... He has a desmoid fibro fibromatosis. It's benign, but it's like progressive uh, condition. So he, he develops recurrent uh, desmoid uh, fibrotic tissue around this area. And, and why, why did not the DJ not work? Because from the diagram, it's not like paper there, from that. There was a kinking at the of the, uh, the, of the uh, even limb. Okay. Let me check the fluoroscope, please. X-ray. Okay, uh, this is very complicated uh, anatomy. Uh, so this is a benign tumor. So I think the the biliary drainage is uh, we have to uh, have to several t several times revision in the future. So I think the critical duodenostomy is uh, more uh, comparable for this patient. So uh, I at first I w I'm worried about uh, uh, can I delineated uh, by uh, common by doctor but uh, luckily this patient is uh, you can see the beautiful uh, long yeah. uh, long cbd and uh, i uh, i wanted to check the diameter it looks like the bile duct still significantly dilated yeah, despite right, having yeah. the percutaneous drain in yeah yeah right and then uh, during the colitical dude i i would like to uh, perform the colloidal duodenostomy. So during colloidal duodenostomy, the scope position is very important. So long scope position is uh, provide uh, that provide the uh, uh, scope stability. So this this patient, a uh, fluoroscope, please. Fluoroscope. So you can see the uh, long scope position and uh, the tip of the uh, probe is uh, towards the hepatic hilum. Is the Ideal position. So, uh, I I uh, I'd like to perform the U.S. guide uh, needle puncture. So, Sorry, this patient is in a uh, prone position. Yeah, prone position. And uh, Anthony, can you show us again where on the diagram where the scope is right now? Is that your drawing, Anthony? <laughs> yep, I'm coming. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the scope is right here. So we're going to do a CDS, so from the first part of duodenum into the bowel duct, correct? Right. Yep. So it looks like you have um, a very close approximation of the bile duct there to the, the bowel wall. Yeah. And you already checked for any obvious blood vessels? Floral. Okay. Uh, this is a 19 gauge needle? Yep. Uh, 
그냥 조금만 더 불러. Is there any sort of direction that you would aim, like perpendicular or, or to, to the bow duck or something? Yeah, uh, but I lost to the bow duck during insertion of the 19 gauge needle. So I find the uh, CBD. You'll notice through all the EUS cases, whenever you put the 19 gauge needle into the linear scope, yeah. it changes the angle of deflection of the tip. So you always have to readjust to get it out of the scope. Floral, please. Sometimes I'm, uh, I think the fluoroscopic guidance uh, fi to find the CBD. So, uh, yeah. You can see the uh, long, t long uh, CBD here. Flo your fluorology. Okay, uh, this is there are many intervening vessels around the cone by duct. So I find the ideal uh, point to puncture side. So okay, I think the this area is uh, the. Quota entry is very uh, narrow, this patient. Floro? Okay. This is... Uh, okay, this area is a uh, uh, relatively safe area, so I try to puncture. There are some little problems, so... Okay. Uh, to confirm the bile duct anatomy, so I, I inject the contrast. Okay, here you can see the dilated bile duct and the uh, distal long, long distal CBD structure. So I inserted the guide wire. So in this case, you're planning to put the guide wire into the intrapatics? Yeah. And then which stent are you planning to use? Yeah. Okay. The guide wire is beautifully advanced into the intrapath duct, so I will I come come out the needle. Usually, I dilated the fistula track with the cystotome because uh, uh, the bile duct is uh, relatively thicker than intrapath intrapath pier. Totally. Do you need to like? Pull back the PTBD? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, at this time, I'm just uh, uh, perform the. There is. I think that there is no uh, com uh, no uh, obstacle to the this kind of the procedure. So after then, we uh, successfully de deployment stent, and then the patient uh, can be removed the PTBD tube. So your plan is to use the cystotome and then place the stent. Yeah. What about thoughts on using a uh, smaller caliber or biliary hot axios? Uh, actually, in Korea, uh, axios stent is not available, so I have no experience of the lumen opposing stent for the colloidal duodenostomy. So we usually use uh, a hybrid stent. So that stent is uh, uh, proximally uncovered and distally covered stent, and uh, the stent has uh, anti-migrating flag uh, in the center of the uh, stent and this part of the stent. Dr. Lee, do you want to okay. show the stent to the audience? Uh, actually, I have no. I have. I am very. 
uh, scare <laughs> Dorvers. So, so I focus on the my benefit if procedure. you have a cautery enhanced lumen opposing stent, you don't have to uh, do much uh, Floro. equipment Floro. exchange and you can deploy it. But Odinia. this is Odinia. A obviously Odinia. A, Odinia. a standard Odinia. technique that can Odinia. be done. Odinia. And also you want to try to avoid uh, dilation. Okay. Yeah, okay. So you don't get the leakage. Tom is uh, uh, come out to the uh, working channel. So Okay, successfully uh, deleted the fistula tray. So this was a six French cystotome? Yeah, six French cystotome. Okay, yeah, I pulled back the cystotome and uh, uh, I uh, inserted the stent over the guide wire. Yes. I used six, six centimeter length, eight millimeter diameter stent. Nicely done. And this patient also received antibiotics prior to the procedure. Maybe I uh, usually, yeah, yeah. I'm usually uh, antibiotics uh, before the procedure. I mean, the main thing you always worry about if there's a biliary leakage and peritonitis. Yeah, and then obviously, if there's stent deployment or perforation. Isn't that high, right? Because uh, it's so, uh, so short and. Uh, well, th the published data shows yeah, yeah, yeah. that you have they ha you have very good outcomes, but they're all at expert centers and they're not that ah, many okay. numbers. Oh, yeah, so so we so operate yeah, you, you can, They've also looked at the comparing the uh, EUS guided biliary uh, drainage you, versus you PTBD you, you in you a meta analysis okay. uh, that yeah, no showed problem. actually there were a little yeah, bit no more problem. favorable uh, outcomes yeah. with the EUS guided approach. Um, a code with a size as well. Um. Well, it's not a matter of just the short distance. You, you don't have anything to seal off any leak mm. in this area because you're not going through liver parenchyma. So right. it is very high risk, but obviously he's making it look very easy. <laughs> okay, I inserted the uh, stand over the guide wire. And again, he's avoiding dilation because if you have to dilate, you're going to increase your risk for leak. Right. Which stent is this again? Yeah, stent is, uh, I inserted the stent inside the, but uh, there is some resistance. Floral. Okay, successfully inserted into the bioduct. So I uh, would like to deploy, deploy start. Yeah. Can you see the endoscopic sure. view also? Uh, I'm usually deployed in intra-channel deployment, so uh, endoscopic image guide is sometimes the stent is pop out. So yeah, okay, yeah, I deployed completely. Yeah, endoscopy image. Okay, here is the stand. Uh, there is a big flange uh, distal part, and uh, also this stand, the stand has uh, another flange inside the bile duct. So. I finished my uh, procedure. Thank you for watching. Very nicely done. Nice. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you.